Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is Lesson 16B. We're just going to build a little bit more on the uh, uh, things that we created in the last lesson, um, as well as talk about some alternative things that you could do uh, that might be a little bit easier than what we did in the last lesson and might work just as well. So first, I want to talk about uh, we're going to talk about uh, screen state variable. And we're going to talk about uh, something you can do uh, in the last lesson. You might have uh, noticed, let's go to this task, that uh, it turned, uh, turned your screen on, it cleared the password, waited two seconds, and then system log, which turns the screen off. Well, if you were using your screen when this stuff was happening, that might be a little bit annoying. So what you could do, is you could have it set up so that if your screen was on when this was triggered, which would probably indicate you were using your phone, then it would, after it did all this, it would turn the screen right back on. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to go to, uh, inside that task, we're going to add a new activity. We're going to use variables for this. So click variables, and then variable set. And we're going to create uh, a new variable. We're going to call this screen status. And we're going to set screen status to 1, but only if. And we're going to use a built in variable. And that built-in variable is called screen, which should be down here in the list. There we go. If screen uh, matches on. And that little squiggly line means matches. If you didn't know that, you could click this and just use matches. So if the built-in variable screen matches on, which means the screen is on, then it's going to set this variable to 1. And this is a local variable because there's no capitals in it. So that means that it's only going to hold its value and while this task is running. When this task finishes running, it'll empty it out. So that's the first one. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a task. So let's choose task. And we're going to choose stop. And we're going to choose if. And now we're going to use the variable we just created. So I'm going to click the variable list, screen status. And we're going to say doesn't match. So click that button, choose doesn't match 1. And now we're going to add one more thing. We're going to click plus. We're going to choose plug in. We're going to choose Secure Settings. We're going to choose Edit Configuration. And we're going to choose Wake Device. And we're going to leave it at one second because basically it just wakes the device. Oops, I didn't click Save. So difficult when you're used to saving with Tasker up here, but down here it's Save. So that is Save, screen and keyboard lights on. And we're going to go back. Now what we need to do is we need to move the variable set up to the very number one thing. Because basically we want this to be set based on what the phone, the status of the screen before it starts to do anything else. Because this stuff messes with the screen. It turns the screen on, it turns the screen off. We want to know well, what's the screen status, what do I, status do I have it in, am I using it, and is it on right now? So we want to test the screen right at first. If the screen is on, then it's going to set status to 1. And if that is the case, then after it does all this, if it's going to uh, go into secure settings and turn the screen back on. However, if the screen status uh, is off, if the screen is off, then it's not going to set screen status to 1. So when it gets down to here, it'll stop so that it will not turn it back on. So that's just a, 
a way to have it turn your uh, screen back on if your screen was on before this task was triggered. So you're basically using variables to measure the status of something and then later in the task doing something based on what that status was before the task. And that's the way uh, uh, that works. Now I just wanted to show you some alternative things as well. Um, maybe you're not so concerned with locking your device. I personally never lock my device so I would never use this because uh, I just think it's a pain in the butt to ever have to enter a PIN code and my phone is always in my pocket. I'm not someone that leaves it laying around when uh, I'm out and about. I never sit it on the table while I'm eating so I don't care about the whole PIN code thing. So I don't use that. So I would never actually uh, lock my device or unlock my device. But Still, maybe based on whether I'm connected to my Wi-Fi at home or in my car, there might be something different I wanted to do. So, we're going to go in here, and uh, I'm just going to add it to this. But let's pretend that none of this is here. You might want to change your, your uh, display timeout. So you just go to Add Action, Display, and Display Timeout, and... When it's con this is for when it's connected to either my Bluetooth or my uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, maybe I want the timeout to be 10 minutes. And this also might be good even if you're using these other things because obviously the the screen lock doesn't engage until your phone screen is turned off. So it might be a good thing to do that when you're home or in your car, you have a, a huge timeout uh, because you don't, you're, it, it's, your phone's not locking anyway, you don't care. But maybe when you're in an unsafe place, when you're engaging your lock screen, so this is the uh, task that we set up to, tr to set the uh, pin code lock screen. Uh, maybe you want your screen to time out very quickly if you're not using it because maybe you set your phone down at your desk and you walk away and the screen is on until that screen turns off your lock doesn't engage so let's go to display and let's go to display timeout and now we're gonna set it to 15 seconds so if there's 15 seconds without activity you want it to lock and you have that set so now uh, this task would turn not only turn on your lock screen so that no one could get into it but it also sets your timeout to 15 seconds so that if you're somewhere that is potentially uh, that you want to make sure your stuff is secure it'll time out in 15 seconds turn off the screen which will also engage that lock for you so that's something you might want to do now a complete and different alternative that you might want to do uh, that doesn't require secure settings um, and doesn't require messing with the uh, Android built-in lock screen which can be finicky and may not work on every device is just using the Tasker lock screen. Um, and the way you could do that, we're going to click plus, we're going to say 1, oh, 1, Tasker lock and we did something similar to this before in an earlier lesson but I just want to remind people that it's there in case you don't remember and we're going to say state and we're going to say display display state is on so anytime the display state is on and then we're going to choose new task and I'm going to call this 101 uh, New Lock. And we're going to add an activity. And we're going to go with, let's see, I think it's in display. And we're going to say lock. You can name this lock if you want to. I'm not going to worry about that. 
code we're going to use is one, two, three, four. And we'll say full screen. And that's about it. We're going to go back. And we're going to go back. And I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this off. Now, anytime this, the, your display changes to on, a lock will pop up. So I'm going to close this out, or turn this my screen off, and then turn it back on. There's the, the tasker lock screen. Now, the difference within the tasker lock screen is you can still pour down the notification, which may be a good thing uh, for some people. Because um, you could pull that down, you could read your emails, or you could, I mean, hit your, see what's in there. But if you hit anything in there, you're not going to get it because this is not going away from this screen. So only thing you can do is you can see what's here. But even if you if you hit settings, well, it may take you into settings, but the tasker lock screen is blocking until you until you open it. And there you go. So. The first lock screen you're seeing, that's from the previous thing that we set up. Um, it's until I turn that off. But uh, you can see the tasker lock works. Uh, and what you would do is, now that we have that set up, anytime the display comes on, that lock screen will show. And then, under uh, lock device, instead of triggering the uh, all of these settings that we triggered, we would simply uh, set up in this a uh, new activity and we would go tasker profile status and then we would choose the profile we just created which was tasker lock and set it off. So now whenever and we'd erase all that other stuff, of course, so that whenever it connects to either of these Wi-Fi's, it would turn the uh, it would turn Tasker Lock off. And then for the exit event, you do the same thing. You just choose acti add an activity Tasker profile status 101 Tasker Lock and set it to on. So, and again, you would need, you would just have that one activity. So then you would have it so that whenever you connected to Wi-Fi, it would turn Tasker Lock off. And whenever you disconnected from Wi-Fi, it would turn Tasker Lock on. And then you do the same thing with Bluetooth. Obviously, these two tasks, you it's the same task, so uh, it would automatically be set up that way. So that then whenever you connected to Bluetooth, it would trigger the task that turns this on. I'm sorry, turns this off, and whenever you disconnect it from Bluetooth, it would trigger the task that turns this on, so that would control your tasker lock. So that's how you can use tasker. That's probably the uh, easiest and more most uh, surefire way uh, to guarantee that the lock will work on any device, because it's a tasker lock um, with the PIN code. And uh, if secure settings, if that method isn't working for you, then I would suggest you try the uh, tasker lock. And again, just turn your built-in uh, uh, lock screen on your phone and Android settings, turn that off, and just use the tasker lock. And definitely the easiest, simplest way, and it is uh, uh, pretty pretty effective uh, as far as security goes. So that's, that's definitely one way to do it. Um, also, in an early lesson we talked about, we created an invisible lock screen that uh, used a gesture and you can go back and view that lesson if you'd like to. I'll put a, a link here in the video you can click to go straight to that lesson to view how to create that invisible lock screen and then do the same thing. You just have the Wi-Fi connected and disconnect turn that off or turn that on or the Bluetooth connection turn that off and turn that on so that you could have the invisible lock screen but you could have it only be effective uh, when you're not connected to your home Wi-Fi and have it turn off when you are connected to your home Wi-Fi or your car Bluetooth. Anyway, that's it for this lesson. I know it was kind of a 
a lot kind of jumping around and a lot of different things, but, uh, uh, you know, it's part B of Lesson 16, but hopefully it made sense to you. If not, if you've got questions, just put them down below. I'll do my best to uh, answer those as quickly, quickly as I can. Also, if you have uh, ideas for tasks that you're not sure how to do, something you want to do and you're not sure how to do it, feel free to throw those my way. That's what I'm using to create these lessons. These are all coming from, uh, uh, mostly now coming from uh, questions that people have about how to do something. So uh, feel free to, to drop me a message about those. And uh, that's about it. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, favorite this playlist so you can keep up with future lessons. Click that like button. Uh, share it with all your friends and anyone you know who's interested in this kind of stuff on Google Plus and Facebook and Twitter and all that, uh, all those great ways. And that's about it. And until next time, so have fun with Tasker.